What does it mean to be water smart? Water smart is an approach to landscaping based on three principles, water conservation, water quality, and habitat for wildlife. These three principles can be applied to any landscape, whether it's a home, a business, a park, or another community space like a library. When you think about designing or redesigning your yard, there are several things you can consider, including plants, irrigation, fertilizers, and pest control. Plants. Choose native plants or use plants adapted to our local climate. These plants are used to living in our hot summers and they will survive our long dry spells and periodic gully washing rains. Native plants come in a variety of colors, shapes, and sizes, and you can find a native plant for any empty spot in your yard. You may also consider reducing the amount of turf grass in your landscape. Try a different ground cover such as Katie's Compact Ruelia, Palm Leaf Eupatorium, or Blue Carrick Sedge Grass under trees or in seldom used areas. Or convert an unused corner of the yard into a wildflower meadow. More ground cover means less mowing, less maintenance, and less watering. Irrigation. Outdoor water use in Texas, particularly lawn watering, accounts for one third of residential water used each year. Typically, flower beds and lawns need to be watered no more than twice a week. And if there is adequate rainfall, twice a week might be too much. Remember to water early in the day when temperatures are cooler and less water is lost to evaporation and to keep your irrigation system in good working order. Choose drip or low volume irrigation. These low pressure systems deliver water directly to plants in an efficient way with little loss to the atmosphere through evaporation and little loss from runoff. These systems use less water than traditional irrigation, which saves you money as well as conserves our precious water resources. You can also collect rainwater in a tank or barrel and use that for irrigation instead of water from the tap. A large cistern can be connected to a low volume irrigation system or water can be taken directly from a rain barrel to hand water. There are many different options when selecting a rainwater harvesting system to fit the needs of your yard. Fertilizers and pest control. Always test your soil before adding any type of fertilizer. Laboratories like those at Texas A&M University can analyze the contents of your soil and tell you what, if any, nutrients your soil is lacking. Based on these test results, you can decide what soil amendments are needed. Compost is a great way to add nutrients to your soil, improve soil structure, and increase the moisture holding capacity of the soil. You can either choose to start your own compost pile or purchase good quality compost from a local vendor. Finally, consider going organic. More and more green options are available to treat pests. These options are easier on pets, kids, and the environment. As you consider making changes to your home or business landscape, start small. Add a few native plants, turn one small corner into a wildflower meadow, or add compost to your flower beds. Check out watersmart.tamu.edu for more ways you can be water smart.